Hello and welcome friends. Bu Julius is a French appellation d'origine controlli AOC wine generally made of the Gamay grape which has a thin skin and is low in tannins. Bu Julius tends to be a very light bodied red wine with relatively high amounts of acidity. In some vintages Bu Julius produces more wine than the Burgundy wine regions of Chablis Côte d'Or, Côte Chalionnaise and Macunaise put together. The wine takes its name from the historical Beaujolais province and wine producing region. It is located north of Lyon and covers parts of the north of the Rhone department, Rhone Alps and parts of the south of the Seon et Loire department, Burgundy. While administratively considered part of the Burgundy wine region, the climate is closer to the Rhone and the wine is unique enough to be considered separately from Burgundy and Rhone. The region is known internationally for its long tradition of winemaking. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with Wine.com and today we're talking about Deboeuf and Beaujolais. Now, Deboeuf is a classic producer and Beaujolais is an all too often misunderstood wine region. There are three things to think about when thinking about Beaujolais. The first is that not all Beaujolais is Beaujolais Nouveau. And Beaujolais Nouveau, you may know that name, it's the bottle that shows up on your shelf just before Thanksgiving and it's usually off the shelf a couple months later because it's very fresh and fruity and needs to be drunk right away. The second thing, kind of tying into the first, is that there are many Beaujolais out there that are complex um, and have enough depth and character that they can really hold up and even be mistaken for a good Pinot Noir from Burgundy. And finally, Beaujolais is an extremely food-friendly wine. It goes with just a myriad of different flavors on the table, so it's perfect for many different holiday meals. So let's talk a little bit about Beaujolais. Now, Beaujolais is a region that is actually technically part of the Burgundy Appalachian of France. It's, it's in the south there, but it's very different in uh, soil, geography, uh, topography, climate, and grape variety than the rest of Burgundy. The grape of choice in Beaujolais is Gamay. And Gamay is a very uh, light-skinned, light-bodied grape that produces wines with a lot of um, fresh red fruits, uh, bright acidity, and very, very low tannins. Now there is a top tier in Beaujolais, and that is known as the Cru Beaujolais. There are 10 different crews in Beaujolais, and many of them produce wines with great complexity and depth of character. Again, they can be mistaken for and hold up definitely next to some really high quality Pinot Noir from Burgundy. The great part about the Cru Beaujolais, however, is that most of them come in under $20 a bottle. So they're wonderful value wines. So the wine we have here today is, and is from the producer known as George de Boeuf. And George de Boeuf is known as the king of Beaujolais. He is a legendary negociant. He's been making wine for over four decades and he really knows what he's doing. So if you haven't picked up a case or a bottle of uh, Cru Beaujolais, we encourage you to do so this holiday because it is a great wine to match with all of those different kinds of holiday meals you'll be having. Cheers. Beaujolais wines are produced by the winemaking technique of semi-carbonic maceration. Whole grape clusters are put in cement or stainless steel tanks with capacities between 4,000 to 30,000 liters, 1,100 to 7,900 US gal. The bottom third of the grapes gets crushed under the weight of gravity and resulting must begin normal yeast fermentation with ambient yeasts found naturally on the skins of the grapes. Carbon dioxide is released as a byproduct of this fermentation and begins to saturate the individual intact grape berries that remain in the barrel. The carbon dioxide seeps into the skin of the grape and begin to stimulate fermentation at an intracellular level. This is caused in part because of the absence of oxygen in the winemaking environment. This results in a fruity wine without much tannin. In the case of Beaujolais Novio, this process is completed in as little as four days with the other AOCs being allowed longer time to ferment. As the grapes ferment longer, they develop more tannins and a fuller body. Maximum length of the cuvation for Novio wines is limited to 10 days. After fermentation, the must is normally high in malic acid and producers will put the wine through malolactic fermentation 
to soften the wine. The process of chaptalization, adding sugar to the grape, must to boost alcohol levels, has been a controversial issue for Biojolius winemakers. The recent trend towards higher quality wine production has limited the use of chaptalization in the premium levels of Biojolius wine. Filtering the wine in order to stabilize it is practiced to varying degrees by Biojolius winemakers. Some producers who make Biojolius on a large commercial scale will filter the wine aggressively to avoid any impurity or future chemical reactions. This can have the negative side effect of diminishing some of the wine's unique fruit character and leaves a flavor that critics have described as jello-like. The Biojolius wine industry is dominated by more than 30 negociants who produce nearly 90% of the wine sold outside the Biojolius region. One of the most well-known Biojolius producers is the negociants George Duboif. There are more than 4,000 vineyard owners in Biojolius. Very little of the estate bottled Biojolius wines are exported into the United States or United Kingdom, though a few exporters specialize in this small niche, the most notable being Kermit Lynch and Elaine Juginet. Thank you and have a good day.